In this episode, we're going to give some updates, uh, what's going on with us, what's coming and so on, after this. Hi everyone, it's Tarrant and Stella from Yubu University. Welcome back to our Tabletop Diary. I realise that sometimes I say my tabletop and our tabletop diary. I should say our tabletop diary because it's yours as well. Tarrant is always appearing in this video. Yep. Hello. <laughs> so in this episode, there's not really a, a specific topic that we're going to discuss. We're going to talk about, um, just give you a few updates of what we've been playing, board game, not board game even. And um, <coughs> what we've been up to. And um, I forgot to say, welcome. Welcome back. And I know some of you probably have been watched um, a few of our vlogs. Hopefully you've been enjoying that. You can always write in the comment sections below if you have any ideas, any topics that you would like us to discuss. And you've been pretty pretty good as well with uh, putting your comments in the descriptions. So we often have got questions um, asking for your input. So it's, it's really good. I feel really good that I feel quite connected to the audience that way if when you write the comments so I really love the comments I'm the one that mostly look at the comments and mm. I will rely on Taryn sometimes but mostly me mm. so what's been happening Taryn? Um, there's a few things that's going on we've been doing live through live playthrough yep so that's probably the the newest thing for us we've been branching into the world of live playthrough, mm -hmm. live full playthrough. Mm -hmm. um, I guess for a long time we've done our educational one round playthrough videos mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and recently we've expanded that into the Dice Tower as well as Pocket Playthrough. Yes. Uh, but we've been going into some live playthroughs. We really started this as a means what? of getting community games of Welcome To happening. Yes. Uh, while you know, most of the world is in some sort of stay at home or lockdown order. Mm -hmm. um, I've been enjoying it so much. I've been enjoying it so much. Yeah. Um, it is um, a bit of a learning curve. I don't know if you have done it. Um, the way our setup is, like every time you probably, if you've seen a few of our playthrough, it might be different from one to the next one. We try to improve sometimes like this audio issue and sometimes there's this issue, but we've been trying to improve. We're getting better equipment as well and hopefully that is you know enhancing your experience and you know making our videos looking good like the latest one that i really like <coughs> is the new microphone um mm -hmm. and then there's uh different camera angles and so on so yeah we've been enjoying that yeah i think it's um you know it's a different style of it's a different style of play even. yeah it's quite yeah. entertainment like in I like it when people write in the comments as well and we respond to that and people respond yeah. to us in the comment sections. Yeah, they tell us yes. when we're getting the rules wrong. That's always <laughs> that's always yeah. helpful. It was the easiest yeah. playthrough. It was Frosthaven, but it's the yeah. easiest playthrough of the Gloomhaven verse ever because there was just this little mm. little box of people telling me everything I did wrong 20 <laughs> seconds later. It was great. Yeah, um. there's a bit of a delay <laughs> with live playthrough um, on YouTube. It's we doing it. Um, we're doing it on different platforms. So multi-stream it on YouTube, Facebook, our Facebook page, Twitter, and what's the other one? Twitch. We, we, should, we haven't actually been looking into Twitch that much, mm -hmm. uh, but there's like that delays, and then 20 seconds later, people respond to that. We've been very thankful as well for some of the publishers who provide the game as a giveaway on our playthrough. So we're really, really mm -hmm. thankful for that. Um, so that's it. if you have any ideas as well of the games we can do play through perhaps write in the comment sections as well and we can look into that mm -hmm. i remember we started with just using our phone when our internet is really slow and then now our internet is faster so everything is looking better and um the first one for frost heaven it was it was the cable that was faulty just on that morning anyways mm -hmm. that's a mishap of the, the the fun of the playthrough and so far mm -hmm. we've done we've done a couple of successful co-ops. Yes. We just barely beat Frosthaven. Oh my god. We had yes. a we had a good game of Spirit Island. Mm -hmm. Um and then we've had a couple of competitive games and then the community welcome to games as well. Yeah. Which has been good. Yeah. So just uh watch out for that. So hopefully you can join us in our playthrough, live playthrough. 
The next one is a really quick one and um, also a celebration. We've hit 6,000 subscribers. So, yay! Hey. Another one of the thousand milestones. Thank yeah. you to all of our subscribers. I know, subscribers. thank you so much. We really much. do like to have you on board. Yes, very much so. Uh, the next one is what's been going on with us. So we've been playing board games as well, obviously two player games. We've been playing games on Tabletopia and we've been playing Jackbox Party. Yes, this is all very much you know, our way of dealing with not having our normal mm. game night with... Um, yeah, it's not a for oh yeah I guess it is it's you know you, you can't visit um, you can't visit friends or other people uh, except for medical care in Australia at the moment so oh, in different states it's also different oh, sorry in yeah, Victoria yeah. at the moment at the moment at the time of recording <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've been yeah going to the online options yeah um, so we've you we've been playing some games on tabletopia mm -hmm. um, We've played Jackbox a number of times. I really love Jackbox. And I tend to... I usually doing really bad at Jackbox, but I really enjoy it so much. So, so much. Because we've got Discord account, mm -hmm. and we just... Um, I found out that I can just... I got... No, I got Jackbox on Xbox and on Steam, the software. So I just stream it online on Discord, and then... Our friends is joining us and then using your phone. I don't know if you're familiar with Jackbox or not. If you haven't, look it up. It's so good. You can play with friends online. It's really easy. Just join Discord for free. Stream it online. Um, but the game is it's not that expensive as, as well. There's Jackbox 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A collection of small little party games. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I find... I reckon I'll come out of the uh, lockdown and not want to play it again for a while. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, it. No. I do. I do enjoy the yeah. occasional game of Jackbox. Yes. I wish we weren't playing as much of it as we oh, yeah. are at okay. the moment. How about if, if I play it more and then with my well, with friends and then you can just you know sit back, especially I'll join. You, uh, I'll join. I'll play. Aww. I just um, yeah. There's a lot of games on our shelves that. That's actually true. It's just so hard to play at the moment. Well. I've been playing the Jackbox um, over the Skype at first, and then now Discord is so good. Um, and um, I particularly discover a social deduction game in Jackbox number six, I believe. It's push the button. It's, yeah, it's, it's so fun. It's social reduction. It's not really your thing. Yeah. I find that the fact that we doing it online, that kind of like hide my face if I'm the, the bad guy, I'm the alien. So yeah. you need to, as human, like most of you are human, you need to find out who the alien is. And as alien, it's, it's good, I think, in, in there. So you don't have to lie to your friends in front of them, but just through chat, I think, yeah. <laughs> if you can't lie too much. Yeah, and I mean, it's an interesting thing. I don't know. Yeah. Do you reckon people will still play Jackbox remotely when the lockdowns are done? Because I've only ever played it you know, in a room, everyone mm. around the same TV mm. before now. When people are gathering together. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe people will <coughs> move back. That's originally what happened when you have people over, with like yeah. a few people over. Because it can take up to whatever, like eight or more players. Yeah, it was always the great thing to go to when yeah. you had too many people to pull out something physical. That's true. Or pull out something that needed rules to be explained. Yeah, or having um, rules. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's certainly a golden age for Jackbox at the moment. Hmm. Have you played Jackbox as well? Write in the comment section below. We want to mm. know. Uh, yeah, as I say, I've got the whole in the series, but I don't think I've we've played every single game yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Hopefully soon. So another that's one game that um, I want to talk about is the games that we've been playing. Yep. You want to go ahead? No. Yeah. No, okay. You want to talk about it. So okay. All right. Say. The crew. How good is that? We going? Oh, we going to play uh, play that online with our friends soon. Yep. Next week. Yeah, I'm really I'm very much enjoying. The crew. It's a shame we hadn't played it a month ago when we did our vlog on trick taking. I know. Games That's like because, recon that. Yeah, it really would have been a a good thing to discuss mm -hmm. in that one. I think it's the nearest you know, in that in the vlog about trick taking games. 
I sort of spoke about how I wasn't, I hadn't found a modern trick-taking game that was more enjoyable than some of the, uh, 500 was my one, but any sort of bid auction type of bridge or whist or euchre. And the cruise, the first one I've come across that's close. And the fact that I really enjoy it, that means we get to play a lot more because I don't usually mm. get drawn to <coughs> trick-taking games. So this is, the way they do it, it's like really puzzle. It has got the Hanabi feel, like, I guess, where you work together and trying to think what other people are going to do, what you're going to do, mm. um, and trying to achieve common objectives. Yeah, it's great. It's, you know, the whole, the whole premise, if you haven't played it, is it's a conventional trick-taking game, but... Uh, each player will take, will have certain tasks they want to complete, and that mostly involves winning a specific card in their tricks. And so you have to contrive the tricks so that each player wins the cards they're allocated. Yeah. Uh, you're very limited on how much discussion you can do. And just the game design, I really like the fact that there's there's four... There's four suits of nine cards, and then there's a trump suit of only four cards, and it's actually the perfect balance. You don't have a whole suit of trumps, but it's also not no trumps. Um, it's like the perfect balance to allow you to pass the leadership of the tricks around. It's a very good game. You're so good at explaining, Taryn. <laughs> yeah, well, I always like like how Taryn explaining games. Uh, we do have how to play video on the crew, so check that out. We released it not long not long ago. And the two-player mo mode is quite it's still good, good as well. You've yeah. got a dummy hand, in, or sort of a half dummy hand in front mm. of you, representing a third player uh, that so one good. player controls. Mm. So there's some information, there's some hidden stuff, and actually, yeah, it balances it out very well. Very so, much. Uh, if we go back four weeks or whenever it was that that vlog went out, mm. um, I'd definitely be singing the cruise praises very highly. Very good. So uh, one game that I want to bring out is the seventh continent yeah that yep. one is um amazing it's been sitting on our shelf for a bit we have a bit of time we're trying to play our games yeah. it was always one that needed yeah, you've, you've <sighs> got to set aside time, yeah. you've got to set aside so much more time to mm -hmm. do it um yeah <clears throat> it's well without saying any spoilers it's, it has got that point and click adventuring game discovery, learning from mistakes, mm. um, and a bit of a puzzle as well. I, I, I didn't know what to expect at the start, to be honest. It was like a while back and I forgot what it's about. Mm. And a lot of people saying good things about it. And then we just happened to have the time and I was like, let's play this. And I always like that point and click style computer game. And this is, yeah. this game captures it really well. Yeah, I can definitely see why it, um, it had so much buzz and it rocketed so high on mm. BGG's list. It's not a terribly challenging game mm. from a mechanical perspective, um, but it yeah it really does better than anything else, as you said, mm. better than anything else I've played on tabletop. Yeah, it captures the point and click, the discovery. There's a little bit of danger. Yeah, you learn if you. You, know, you don't know what's coming and you learn the sorts of things mm. the game's going to throw at you. That experience then helps you. It's just, yeah, it's a really good game system. Yeah. I'm very impressed by that. We did lose the first one and we were like, oh, yeah, let's do this. We like, oh, we did. But that's okay. We learned from that. And then we, um, yeah. we haven't finished our campaign yet, but soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, well, we don't know if it's soon. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, that might be a false sense of security, but we're we're somewhere within a campaign, probably between twenty and eighty percent. Okay. Who knows? Who knows? So, anything else that you wanna mention? Well, I think that that covers. Um, that's pretty much a yeah. state of where we're at. So. Do you wanna keep it yeah, too long bringing, as well? Yeah, bringing out some of our co-ops, mm -hmm. uh, games that we don't normally have the time for. Mm -hmm. You know, we played a couple of, uh, pulled a couple of Lacertas off the shelf, yeah. played them two-player. So, yeah. it's good. We're learning how a few of these games go two-player as well, because most of our heavy mm -hmm. ones we normally play at three or four. So, this is kind of like a sandboxy style of vlog, mm -hmm. <laughs> not game, Tabletopia style of vlog. Yeah. So, just chat with us, write in the comment sections. I enjoy reading your comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. 
um, go, go to YouTube and then check all comments. Um, and basically, it. As you saw, you would help us by hitting the like button and subscribe to us. Hit the maple in the corner sometime there. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at social media as well. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And that's it. Right. That's it from us for now. Until next week or next time, whenever we publish a yeah. new video. Bye. Everyone stay safe.